today's special to help you out in the kitchen with that grueling prep work. So you want to uh, pretend that you're like a rock star chef right now and that you know how to use a fancy schmancy uh, knife. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that when you have the PL8 mandolin slicer because it does all the work for you. It's our best value of the day. And I'm telling you, you will amaze your friends, your family. They'll be like, oh my gosh, how did you cut those so perfectly? None of them have to know. Actually, let them know because it's fun to use. It's called our PL8 mandolin slicer. It's our today's special. First time we've ever done it as a today's special at the lowest price ever. It is a huge customer pick on hsn.com. It is simple and fun to use. John Florell is showing you how easy it is to use. John, it's good to see you as it's always. Good to be here. I Thanks. know you have a lot to do. Yeah. So before, before we get started with John, I want to show everybody what their colors and what you get in this kit because it is truly the best value we've ever done on it. Read the reviews on the product. You're going to love it as well. So basically what a mandolin slicer does, the French item, basically what it does is rather than bringing the knife to the food, you bring the food to the knife. That's essentially it. But it's a lot safer. It's a lot easier, much easier because most people don't know how to use a knife and it's a simple way to get consistent results every time. So when you order, and John's going to explain how it works, you're going to have your choice of green. It comes in black. It comes in red. And it also comes in white. When you order, and by the way, the red is the most popular. When you order, you're going to get what I call the, the magic three. These are the greatest three peelers you will ever buy in your life. In fact, I told John, I would spend $34.95 on these three. And these are them. <laughs> I know. This is them. They, just, they snap together. We'll show you how that works in just a sec. But you get uh, a peeler to be able to julienne, to be able yep. to do slicing, to be able to do decorative stuff. All that is included at $34.95. $8.74 on your credit card. Mandolin slicer, the hand guard, uh, comes along with it. The straight peeler, the serrated peeler, and the julienne peeler all come together. We also have the, the safety glove, which we recommend you get as well. We'll put that item number up there as well. But, John, these mandolins have been used for years, yeah, and yeah. chefs have known this secret for a long, long time. That's right. Every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their arsenal of no doubt. tools somewhere. Yep. Because it saves you so much time. You just saw me make, uh, you know, to turn two potatoes into french fries. We julienne carrots, made cucumber icicles, did some zucchini wow, spears for a vegetable tray, and it was all done in seconds. But here's the best part. It's a safety holder, okay? Yeah, yeah. Because years ago when mandolins came out, well, here, if anybody's ever slipped on one of these old <laughs> four-sided knuckle busters, yeah. you know, <laughs> when you get close to your fingers, you have to stop, right? And then if, if you slip, <laughs> you end up cutting right. yourself. So plate came out with this, and it's got a guide that flips up or down over the machine. Easy to clean, but this way you can never cut yourself. Now, what I was just doing, I was just julienning, okay? I made some carrot sticks, we made french fries. This little bar right here on the side adjusts the teeth. You can do big french fries, little french fries, or if you put them down, you're slicing. Yeah. There's f uh, four different slicing thicknesses, all the way from thick up to thin. And my favorite part for storage, you pop this all the way up, Okay, to the last notch, yep. and look at this. Three sets. You'll never cut yourself <laughs> while, it, while it's in storage. Okay. Now, in storage, it fits right in your kitchen drawer, okay, right in your knife drawer. That way, when you see it every day, you'll use it every day. The mm -hmm. more you use this machine, the more you're gonna love it. And it's so easy to use. Take a potato, tomato, onion, whatever you wish. Here, I'll start with a potato. You start at the top of the machine and slide it down to the bottom. Back up to the top, down to the bottom. The nice part about a mandolin is that you get uniform slices. Now, when you get down close to your fingers, here's the best part. You flip this down over the top. You take that safety holder. See those four prongs? Yep. They hold on to your food. You hold on to the holder. Now, you don't waste anything. You don't cut yourself. See this button? Just push down on that button, All and that feeds it down to the end. Look at what's Wouldn't left. Wouldn't you re rather see <laughs> that piece of skin wow. than your piece of skin? <laughs> I mean, and look at the results. Yeah. Look at this. Perfect uniform slices for pan fries, home fries, raw fries, cottage fries. Here, you can even do something like this Irish. Oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, Irish those nachos. Yeah, <laughs> Irish nachos. I mean, that's potatoes, which we slice with and cheese. And look at how look uniform at and even they wow. are. Wow, and you'd See, never do that food, with a knife, John. Well, when never. food's sliced evenly, it cooks yeah. up evenly. Plus, food that's appealing to the eyesight is also appealing to the appetite. Here's probably the hardest thing you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen, because nobody ever seems to have a knife sharp enough to slice a red ripe tomato. With this machine, the razor sharp blade does the work for you. All you do is brush the vegetable, fruit meat or cheese through the blades. You get those uniform, perfect slices each and every time. Now, if you like the slice, maybe you want it thinner. 
Here's a little, here's while well, you do. Everything is on board. There's no parts and pieces. I've seen $200 French mandolins, okay, mm -hmm. that have about a million pieces that you that you put them in the drawers. This is all in one, so you don't have to look through the drawers. Now, watch this. All you do is turn the knob right here on the side. It showed you thick, medium, thin, and super thin. I'm going to take it up to the super thin because this is the one you'll love if you do any uh, if you do any canning or freezing. You're going to love this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to make bread and butter pickles or slice cucumbers for cucumber and onion salad. I love you'll this. You'll nickel down carrots for canning. You'll slice beets Paper for pickling. Thin. Uh, and you can do this too. I got to show you this. Look, it fits over any si uh, a salad bowl too. So now you can slice cucumbers right into it and make a, a cucumber salad right yeah. into the bowl. But I like to show you how uniform and even these slices are. The very first slice comes out just like the very last. Yep. Every slice is uniform and even. And I always tell people this guy, if you use this machine for nothing but onions, okay, there, there's actually 12 different ways to cut onions with this oh my machine. Gosh, yeah, right? really are. And here, yep. take an onion, put it in that safety holder. You ever notice when you're trying to slice onions thin with a knife, that the more you cry, the thicker the slices always end up because <laughs> wow. you're trying to get the job done fast. Yeah. And, well, and take a look at the size of that onion look at and this. look at the job this does. Look, I mean, there's an entire onion I, sliced paper I didn't have thin. time to cry, John. <laughs> you know, I didn't have yeah, time yeah, to cry. <laughs> look it's at that. It's so fast, and that's why you'll love this. It's like having your own little sous chef in the kitchen. Yeah. But you mentioned earlier, Guy, that they've been around for over 100 years, yeah. mandolins. They were originally developed over in Germany for, sa for sauerkraut. Yeah, for shredded cabbage. cabbage. Yep. Look, you can make the fastest, freshest, finest coleslaw, make hot slaw, pepper slaw, chow chow. Uh, do this with iceberg lettuce on taco night. Uh, I mean, th talk about saving time. Look at that. <laughs> Noodles and cabbage. And people are buying You'll bags of this stuff, oh, John, yeah. right? Why buy it shredded up for you and pay, like, what is Fresh. it, $1.49 a, a, yeah. a pound when you can buy a head of cabbage for 49 cents a pound? I know, I it know. saves you money when you cut things fresh. Yep. Now, if you like that cabbage coleslaw, or maybe you don't like the cabbage coleslaw, this way. Maybe you'd rather have it deli style. Watch what I'm gonna do on the side of the machine. All I'm gonna do is turn it to a medium slice, mm -hmm. and then with this bar, and by the way, there's instructions that come with it, okay? I'm gonna pop up those two rows of teeth. See the teeth on oh, top yeah, yeah, there? Yeah. Now instead of shredding your cabbage, deli, uh, now you can do deli style. So now coleslaw. you're chopping and slicing. Now you're mincing your cabbage mincing. deli style. Chop and slice <laughs> together equals mince. <laughs> That's right. Yep. And look at that. I mean, there's a, before you could take that big old heavy food processor off the uh, shelf in the garage because it takes so much time to set up and clean, the job is done. I mean, and oh, by the way, I mentioned onions earlier. If this is the only thing that you will ever use this machine for, just for mincing onions, for tuna fish, for chicken salad, for homemade meatloaf, on taco night, for chili, soups, stews, for barbecues, I mean, look at this. How, instead of playing tic-tac-toe with a butcher knife on an onion, Guy, look at that. It's a perfect yeah. mince each and, and every time. And let me tell you, that's that's hard for even a, a well-trained chef to do with a knife. That's right. right? And you got to remember, too, that the reason that this, because people look at it and they say, well, how does it stay sharp? Right. John knows as well as I do. Yep. What makes a knife dull yep. is, is hitting it against a cutting board. That's what makes it dull. Not, not, not the veggies. That's what dulls that's your knife. That's what dulls your knife. So cutting you boards, never use countertops, a, You never place, use a cutting up. board. Right. It's just the fruits and veggies hitting the blade. So it never gets dull. It's always sharp. Yeah, and here's the thing. It, it, it stays sharp, but it, it does so much more than you could do with a knife. Yeah. I mean, think about the holidays for homemade stuffing when you're chopping right. up your celery. A How, or for a soup or a stew. How long does it take to chop celery? You can do one stalk at a time if you want, okay? Or if you want to save time, grab the whole bunch like this and just brush it through the blades. Folks, you'll chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. There's 26 different ways just to chop or cut celery with this machine. Look, and different angles give you a different cut. So if I lay this down flat, instead of straight up and down, lay it down flat like this, make celery spears for stir fries or for garnishing a Look salad. I mean, that you can do more with this machine than you could ever do with one of the, you know, the three or $400 the way, food processor. Yeah, by the way, you'll never find this package like that. Yeah, and- uh, You'll see big pieces sliced, right. but you'll never see them like that. And I'll tell you what, and you could do big pieces with the machine right. too. All you do adjust is it. adjust the machine. You slide that up for bigger celery spears or carrot sticks. Yeah. I'm going to take this all the way down. I'm going to take all the teeth away, and I'm going to put this on the thickest slice. If this, listen, if you take corn off the cob in the summertime, 
for freezing corn, okay? When corn's cheap, you buy it inexpensive. Yeah. You freeze it so you have it all winter. Or maybe you've got kids with braces. All right, you, they can't chew corn off the cob. All you do is brush it through. Every time you brush it through there, it takes four or five rows of corn off the cob, whether it's blanched corn, cooked corn, raw corn, hey, for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, for relishes or chowders, just as a corn stripper. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's worth the price for just that. But this machine does way more. And let's go over to this other one over sure. here. I'm gonna show you how to change it around. And watch this. You see, plate has come up with everything. <laughs> You're gonna love what this does. Watch this. Right here on the, so on the bottom down here, there's a plate, okay? You lift up that plate. The knob on the side flips the machine. From, it turns it from a straight slicer into, here, I'll hold this up. Can you guys see that? It's got a ripple blade, all right? And that ripple blade, if you do any kind of canning, freezing, maybe you do pickles at home, maybe you want, maybe you just want to slice uh, uh, some carrots, okay? Carrots for the, for a salad or for garnishing. Or maybe it's a vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado dip. See how it puts the ridges on your vegetables now? So you can do just about anything with this. You know, that, here, take a look at this. We'll use some, uh, some uh, yellow squash. You get perfect ripples on every slice for cucumbers. I gotta do that with a I mean, knife. And, <laughs> oh, and by the way, <laughs> there's no way you can do that with no, a knife. No, it's impossible. You, you'll love this too. Look at this for your, uh, oh, by the way, look at that. Wow. Perfect. And it, you Even, know, if you like dehydrating stuff yes. too, it's ideal for that as well. Yes. So let me tell you really quickly, because okay. I know John, he can just go, go, go. <laughs> well, there's so and much <laughs> there's so much to do with this product. I and, and and I think a lot of people, you know, are, that are not properly trained to use knives, they're afraid of them. They say they can't cook. Why? Because I can't use a knife. Right. You need no special skills to use this. You simply take it, put it on the fork, and slide it through. You, the learning curve is about five minutes. And then you're like, <laughs> right. oh, I get it. In fact, then you're going to discover, wow, I can chop, I can shred, yeah. I can do waffle fries. For, you know, the kids you know, love. I was, I was reading some of the re reviews earlier. Yeah. All right, all, some of these five-star reviews. People rave over the fact that it's so simple, right. but it's so easy to clean, too. You just rinse yeah. it off, let it drip dry. All right, really quickly, uh, uh, read the reviews right here, and you'll see it's the best mandolin I've ever used. And by the way, I've used a $200 French mandolin. It's the first thing I ever sold here years ago right. when I came back to work. Yep. It was $200. It was all stainless steel. It was identical to this, only it was $200. This one's lightweight. This Watch one does this. more than that one did. Watch this. And look at the results. Now, John is crisscrossing here. Yep. Are you doing waffle? I'm turning the vegetable. Oh, okay? my gosh. Instead what? of running it straight up and down, which will give you that ripple effect, okay, like this, if you turn the vegetable before you run it through, it puts the holes in the vegetable to give you the uh, waffle My cut. favorite thing so, you've done I mean, all day. And you can do that with beets, apples, carrots, zucchini, pears. Uh, here, with a carrot. You know carrot. how good that would be and, fried? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how good would that be, like, lightly dusted and fried? Oh, yeah. Look wow. at this. Do your carrots this way. Yeah. Look at this. Perfect perfect for garnishing a soup or a stew or you know put it around a salad That's but it's awesome. a perfect gar perfect perfect way to garnish and Look with those that. holes in there hey think of the calories you cut out with all those holes in there that's exactly you're right diet. yeah you're eating half <laughs> maybe a you're carrot. on a cheap date Look, yeah. or organic earrings Hang them on here. <laughs> you get the hungry all right. <laughs> 5,300 are spoken for already and all I can tell you is listen if you have issues in the kitchen if you're afraid to use a knife if you don't know how to do the fancy chopping this makes every this puts everybody on the same playing field and there's a reason that chefs, and I don't care if it's Wolfgang or Ming, all these guys, yep. they use mandolins because they know, otherwise it's going to take forever to it do these things with a knife. Plus, it does way more work than you can do with a knife. You can't I mean, do that with here, a knife. When, when's the last time you went to one of the, you know, that fancy, or that chicken restaurant, you know, that has I the holes in the fries, potatoes? Yeah. Like, hey, do this at home. Make these up, okay, for the sliders. Put potatoes on the bottom, potatoes on top. Oh, look at a, good, a little John. slider like that instead wow. of a bun. I mean, they're delicious. There's so much that you can do with this machine. Now, Here's the best part. You mentioned these peelers earlier, and I got to show you these yeah. peelers because whether you're right-handed or left-handed, these peelers save you so much time. They're all included, and by the way. You never have to go searching yep. for them because they nest together. They lock together just like this. You've got a straight peeler, you've got a serrated peeler, and you've got the julienning peeler. With the straight peeler, here, I'll tell you what. Look at this. It, it cuts in both directions, so it's twice as fast as any other peeler. Whether you're right-handed, left-handed, it does way more work. But you can also do fancy cuts. Okay, do this with zucchini or a potato or a carrot. You get those long ribbons like this, yeah. and you can roll these up or make a ribbon salad like we've got over here. Okay, just drop those ribbons in. I mean, what a delicious way to make a quick salad, even just out of your peels. Now, the, the serrated peeler, 
This is the one that you're going to use for things like butternut squash. Here, mm -hmm. this one's my favorite, though. I got to yeah, show you this. Yeah, you got to do julienne Zucchini. for me. Zucchini, yeah. Watch. Uh, listen, if you're if you're into uh, low carb stuff, okay, try a zucchini pasta. You can do angel hair cuts with this. Perfect long angel hair spears or strings for making that angel hair zucchini pasta. And you can do ten times more with a peeler than some of those machines that are made to do the you know look the zucchini that. pastas. Yeah. I mean, look how fast we did all and this. And no special skills yeah. here as well. You know, we have Chef William coming up in just a bit, and I know, you know, food has to look beautiful, right, Chef? Chef is agreeing with me over there. And, and let me tell you, if he tried to do this stuff by hand, take it all day to oh, do that yeah. stuff by hand. I mean, hand. how long would that take with a paring knife? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the people that make the big submarine sandwiches, how do you think they do that lettuce? <laughs> they get an industrial mandolin, and they throw it, run it through one of those machines. You can do this in the comfort of your own home. And again, I can't ex express enough how many restaurants, every restaurant out there uses this machine. That's how they get that consistent slicing. Right. If you buy it today, it's $8.74. The peeler set is thrown in. I also mentioned we do have gloves available. For those of you that are, are those beginners. Those for taking corn off the yeah, cob. Yeah, if you're just taking corn yeah. off the cob and you're not using the machine, then we, we advise you to use yep. gloves. And they're, they're, they cost next to nothing. So you can grab those two. We're going to put five minutes up there on the clock, okay? And it's five minutes, and one of these colors is going to sell out. Red is the most popular. It comes in black, it comes in green, it comes in white. John will show you again how easy this is yeah. to use. But I am telling you, not just easy, I think I think it's one of the most fun things it that is. we bring hey, here. Listen, I love this machine. Cooking doesn't have to be a chore, all right? right? And, and cooking doesn't take the time. It's the preparation of the food that takes all the time. It's everything. And that's why, you know, people Prep work. have a hard time cooking with a knife. Yeah. Watch, watch this. I'm going to flip this back over from the, the, uh, from the ripple blade to the straight blade. I'm going to flip that plate back. Watch what I'm going to do now. There. On the side of the machine, I'm going to slide this over. We're going to put it on a medium slice because you can do so much with the mandolin that there's just no way. It saves you so much more time than using a knife. I'm going to put that in the safe holder. You never have to worry about your fingers, nails, or knuckles. Push down on the button on top of that safety holder, and you get perfect, uniform, <laughs> look, medium look slices perfect, like that. I think it's yeah. called carambola, isn't it? <laughs> and I'll tell you what. And, or star fruit. I'm going to put it on the thick slice. Yes. If you've got, listen, uh, how about for, uh, you know, uh, well, here, for your... I smell that stuff. <laughs> It's just for your, for your bartender friends. How yeah, long does that. it take to slice lemons, limes, and oranges yeah. with a knife? With this machine, look at this. You get it done in seconds, oh and every Bartender's slice is friends. exactly the same <laughs> thickness. It really is. It yeah. saves so much time. But you can do exotic fruits, too. Like, take uh, take one of these dragon fruits, and all you do is brush it heck? through. I mean, Ooh, it does way John. more work. Look at that. And Uniform, perfect. even, thick Every slices, just like this, yeah. for garnishing, for decorating, and hey, it, just for an orange. I mean, look at this. The kids now, hey, can you slice me an orange, Mom, yeah, Dad? Right. Look, the job's done and look that here. uniform, safe, and even, yeah. all right? And if you want to put a slice fly out when first, you slice like, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, again, every slice comes out uniform, even, and exactly the same. Uh, everybody has a hard time slicing tomatoes with a knife. We mentioned this earlier, Guy. The problem with a knife is after you cut through the food, what's it do? That knife hits your countertop, dull, your cutting dull, board, dull. plate, dishes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what dulls your knives. This blade touches, it doesn't touch anything but vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese. So they stay razor yeah. sharp. And no you'll, waste. Yeah, I mean, you'll get an easy, you know, six to ten years out of that blade. And look at that. Uniform, even J slices. Hey, John. Two. Yes. How much do you think this knife costs right here? Uh, <laughs> I know oh, yeah, how much that knife. costs. You it's know a, that. It's about 100 bucks. That's one yeah. of those fancy uh, Japanese knife. Uh, steel right. knives. And this is about $100 right here, okay? You can spend more than that because I went yeah. and I looked at well, the knives at the that's specialty the kitchen. Price. Yeah, that's our <laughs> yeah. price. If you bought that in this the store, This is $34.95. Oh our regular price will be $69.95, including the peelers. And I am telling you, the only thing you need, you need to be able to do is move your arm up and down a little bit like that. I actually find it to be quite therapeutic when you're doing it it's not hard it's not hard on the joints it's easy it's a lot easier than using a knife and again you remove that element of, of danger because everything is protected yep. and covered you use that little top i use it all the time all right all you, maybe you want to core out your tomato that's up to you you don't even have to do that and you can do fruits you can do veggies you can do all, all kinds of different things and even hard Check things like out. potatoes paper or, thin right? slices for Look dehydrating that. we just did do. an apple little for dehydrating on there. yep throw, it throw the those in the dehydrator hydrator yeah. or make an apple pie. Here, take a bell pepper, all right? Take the, take a knife, snip the end with the stem off, and then pull the heart and seeds out, okay? 
when you reach inside like that, get up, rid yeah. of that all those bitter Tap seeds. It. And then with this machine, look at this. And again, you can put this in a bowl, across the bowl, or you can do this right on the countertop or tabletop. You get perfect, uniform, paper thin slices for peppers and onion, yeah. for your steak. Look at that. That's for one salads, of my favorite demos subs, you do. For sandwiches. That's, that's I mean, hard. There's do. no way you could slice yeah. them that thin with a no knife. Way. No, no way. way. Uh -uh. And with this machine, because of that safety holder guy, there you can't make a mistake. If you can move your arm up and down, you can use this machine. Whether you're right-handed, left-handed, underhanded, it yeah. makes no difference. All you do is brush it through and look. It takes it right down to the very last slice. Hey, John, will Perfect. you do me a favor and show the array of different things that we've showed oh, up here really quick? Listen, because we've done slicing, dicing, chopping, at, mincing, I want you printing. to look at the different styles yeah, of food. Here's thick all the way down to thin. Okay, you can see the difference. Your thick julienne, your thin julienne, you can do fine mincing, you can do slicing, dicing. You do, we've got the waffle blade and the ripple slicer, and you get that three-piece that three piece peeler set with it too. But I'll tell you what, you don't have to use this machine guy for everything that we've shown you here, all right? If you only use it for taking corn off the cob, Hey, if you've ever used a knife to take corn off the cob, you know how the kernels fly all over the kitchen? It gets in your eyebrows, your hair, up on the ceiling. It goes everywhere. With this machine, just as a corn stripper, yeah, my you will love it. it and by the way, so much time. the best corn you will ever have is corn eaten like that. Don't oh, buy it in cans, yeah. please. A chef's, a that's a chef's tip. You can always find corn on the cob out there, even if it's frozen, do it that way. It's the way to do it, and it makes your job so much easier. John, when are you back, my friend? I don't know. I well, then, make schedule. sure you do, join John when he doesn't know. No, John will be back tuned. at 11. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, John will be back at 11. Our producer, Paul, has filled us in. Thank you so much. Great oh, job. Pleasure. Love this. We're going to utilize all this food. Let's check in with the lovely Michelle, see what she's got for you. I've got some exciting news for you guys. Our resident gemstone globe trotter, Jay King, he will be here on Sunday with a beautiful today's special. It's kicking off our Tucson gem event. Now, he was actually in Tucson getting prepared for all of this, but he took some time out to share a gorgeous new stone with us. Take a look. We're going to be coming and visiting you on February 11th with our brand new today special, Thulite from Norway. First time we've ever, ever done it. So make sure and shop with us February 11th, save the day. All right, that is so exciting, but you know what? You can check out his whole collection right now by heading to hsn.com and searching J King. And of course, tune in on Sunday to see all of his new pieces and really just refresh that jewelry wardrobe for the upcoming spring season. So that I am definitely looking forward to. Okay, don't go anywhere, you guys, because we've got a lot more coming up on HSN today and we'll have more with Guy in the Kitchen right after this. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. everybody well you know this lovely lady right here and this is one of her favorite things and you know whenever she says something is good you know it's got to be the best because she has her choice of everything uh, and Wakaya Perfection Turmeric is in my opinion and, and the opinion of so many people out there the greatest turmeric out there on the planet and it comes from the island of Fiji this is all hand cultivated in virgin volcanic soil it is full bodied it is exquisitely rare uh, you can add it to anything it's a spice rub your meats your veggies your salads your teas. You can put it on virtually anything. We read every day about the health aspects of turmeric and how much it's made such a difference in people's lives. Here's another thing. It's 100% pure. There's no additives, no preservatives, no chemicals, no pesticides, and it's all harvested on this beautiful island. And the lovely Jennifer Halliday is here. Hi. You've been in the business for over 20 years, even though you only look like you're okay, 20 years old. Okay, I love old. you. Uh, <laughs> you, you have, and, and I know you've researched and you've done your work and, and you've spent your whole life dedicated to health and nutrition and things like that. Yes. And 
And I, I love that you're opening up the world of ginger and in this case, and my favorite, I actually, of the two, I like the turmeric better because I, I use it more in cooking. I know. And believe it or not, people are like, turmeric? I thought ginger, I use them both. But today we have just the turmeric available. And you only have one show with turmeric. Yes, and this is private reserve. Private reserve. So less than our ginger. 300 available. This is the one pound container. A little bit goes a long way. Talk to us, why do we need this beautiful product? I know, product? this is, well, we, you know, when HSM, we can't talk about all the amazing health benefits, but yeah. you don't have to talk about them. They're all over the news. Right. Anywhere you go, Google. Um, so basically what makes ours so unique is we have, we spent four years, Guy, crossbreeding a unique organic Fijian turmeric seed. Mm -hmm. all throughout the Fijian Islands. And what makes it super unique is that we actually um, cultivate it all by hand in a virgin volcanic soil on a private island in the middle of the South Pacific. Paradise, yeah. And here it is. And what I love about this is we can guarantee the journey of our proprietary seed from our soil to your shelf. And it's very rare that you can get this. We have 75 Fijian farmers working around the clock Ugh. by hand. We only cultivate one time per year. So what, so the uniqueness alone is the way that it's cultivated and, and how rare the seed is. But like we all know, once you open this and actually smell it, it's a whole different ball game. It's, it is so, it's so amazing. It's so deep. And I mean, you don't get, don't get too close because I'm telling you, it is, it is a very intense scent. Yes. That's what imparts the flavor to so many wonderful things. And, and we have Chef William Sellner who actually wrote the book every day uh, with turmeric and he's included all the recipes yes. that we have. Yes. Uh, you're going to get to see Chef William in just a sec. He's actually prepping some great food. But I will tell you what you can use in this, uh, the, the recipes, how you can utilize this in soups. In my favorite salad dressings on this planet are the ones he makes. I know, I know. Uh, he's done peanut brittle with turmeric. He does all kinds of great things. This book comes along with it. And, and we give, this is a great supply. This is a great supply. I want to talk two things about this. So one, if you get turmeric now in the store, you have to shave it. It's cumbersome. This has a two-year shelf life. Um, you, again, you said when you smell it, it has this really strong uh, scent. But when oh, you eat it, the flavor is very amazing. smooth. And I love the title of the book. Okay, Every Day with Turmeric. How many times when you try to eat healthy, does it taste bad? Ugh, right? Yeah. So this is every day you I need know. to have this because it actually tastes good. Yeah. And this is a perfect example. Yes. So this is an organic turmeric banana mango smoothie. So easy. If you guys have a Nutribullet, throw it in there. Teaspoon. It's so ridiculously mm -hmm. good. And every time you make this for me, because I make it at home too, but it's always better when you guys make Maybe because <laughs> Chef over here is putting his magic yeah. fingers on there. But I'm, I am telling you, you would have this every single day. And knowing that you're getting your turmeric uh, and you're getting it in a way that is so enjoyable and so delicious, because buying turmeric pills, Yes. What? How do you know? How old is that stuff if it's in a plastic pill or whatever it's yeah. in? Yeah, and before I worked with Wakaya Perfection, I never liked turmeric. Mm -hmm. But again, just like our ginger, it has a very unique flavor. In food, you know as a chef, it yeah. has such a, it's such an unparalleled it pops. flavor. It really, yes. it really does. And, you, and, and yet at the same time, it's in the back note of things. So if you're doing it in chicken, it's not like you're taking a tablespoon of turmeric and putting it in your mouth. It is subtle in a way, but it, but it has that intensity. It's not like, you know, when you, you don't like garlic and there's garlic in something, mm -hmm. you know it, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And not everybody can eat garlic. This is something everybody will love. Let's yeah, go over and say hi to Chef. This is the ingredient that your friends are going to say, what's in this? All right, so Chef okay. William Sellner's here. He's the guy that wrote the book. And I'll tell you, he knows how to put this stuff together, and yeah. he shares it with us. Chef, good to have you here again today, my friend. <laughs> good morning. And you and I go back many, many years. Many years. I was at the first uh, <laughs> restaurant 20-some-odd years ago. He was a chef at one of my favorite restaurants, and we didn't find that out until, like, the last time we visited. <laughs> and I knew, I'm like, I, I knew this guy could cook because it was the best restaurant in town in Westport, and you know the yes, place. Yes, sir. Uh, anyway, you're here with us today. Correct. What do you love about turmeric? I mean, how, what, first tell off, me about it. First off, I love, I love the health benefits of it. Yeah. It is just absolutely incredible what it can do for you to enhance your well-being, make you feel good, yeah. but then it also enhances the food. And then, but isn't it so important that whatever you put into your body yeah. should come from the purest form? And yeah. our island is the purest form where right. it can come from. I love the fact that we're adding we're adding this incredible layer of flavor without adding fat exactly. or salt or anything else. There's this is completely pure, so natural, completely natural. I mean, and I love the fact that you know the people. This is done by hand. This is not machines that are crushing and powdered. Yeah, this nothing. is all. 
Everything, right? Yeah, nothing compromises the integrity nothing. of our soil. Yeah. I'm going to move you over so you can actually yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm just stand in here. I was going to. I didn't want to squeeze you in there, but I have to. May I try a piece, Chef? Please, please. And this is now. I want you to look. Simple. And I don't know how close you can come in. Look at the color. Look at the little bit of a crust that's on the outside, and we've put nothing this on this. It's just grilled chicken, salt, pepper, and turmeric. And a little bit of fresh lime. Mm. That's it. It's like, and I, you know what? If you, if, you, if you think chicken is boring, yeah, eat it like this. Exactly. Or oh scrambled gosh, eggs. Yeah. Oh. Correct. What else do we have here? All right. What else? We do have you? a little bit of dessert here. We've mm -hmm. done a little bit of peanut brittle. Oops. We've done our. Of course, our world-renowned cauliflower uh, bisque. This is your favorite. Let me just say, I'm sorry, let me just call it. If you buy the turmeric just to make this cauliflower bisque, which, by the way, is healthy. And easy to make. Oh, my gosh. And 100% gluten-free. Do you, do, uh, you, we have coconut oil coming up, too, don't we? Coconut yeah. oil coming yeah. up. So mm -hmm. what do you see some of the stuff we have there? And you know what's nice about this is you, you, you think so with the good. word bisque, it's it's fat, so it has good. cream in it. It doesn't. It has uh, coconut water. Coconut water and, and almond, almond milk, milk to give it that richness. And, and that so cauliflower, good. which I can, I can I taste a little of the cauliflower yeah. mm -hmm. in the background. Cashews. It's so, this is so good. And again, you know what's nice is it's good for you. Hey, Paul, how many we have left? Paul says, okay, we have about 200. Mm. It's gonna go fast lot. though. Again, mm. private. This is our private reserve. Okay. Our our ginger. We have a little bit more, but we cultivate this one time per year. And what's so great about this is as a two year shelf life, mm. right? So no more buying. You know, first of all, when you're buying fresh fresh <laughs> turmeric, you don't know where it's wow. from. That, what am I eating here? Oh, that's so okay. Good. This is. This is my spin on potato salad. Oh I've gosh. taken normal potatoes, <laughs> sweet potatoes, a little bit of uh, Greek yogurt, some tomatoes, some habanero peppers, our proprietary turmeric, a little bit of our proprietary ginger, and we've made our own um, potato salad right there. It's so good, and again, these recipes are all inside every day with turmeric, which you get. This is, uh, this is, listen, we only get to do this every so often. The price is ridiculous. This is normally hundred over $150. I know, it's Today it's $119. Deal. The shipping is free. Do you realize when we say free shipping on something like this, how are you getting this shipped from Fiji? How much that would cost yes. you to get this thing shipped all the way? Well, and, and that's what it's about. It's about getting a great deal, and you read about it every day. As we said, it's, in, it's you know, featured in O Magazine and as one of the favorite things. Try it, and you can use it breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can put this in in anything, liquid, anything. in teas. You can. I mean, we make candy and out of this. Get adventurous. Right. We always love people to get adventurous because you you'll really be surprised by the flavor. You know what's you know what's really good about this, mm -hmm. and here's here's a really crazy combination, is. You, wow. if you get dark chocolate, <laughs> if you get dark chocolate, you want to make a dark chocolate cake. Actually, make a dark chocolate cake with the turmeric inside it. Oh, yum! Dark chocolate and the turmeric together is an incredible combination. <laughs> my, one of my favorite things to do with it is dressings. I love because I love salad dressings, and turmeric will mix with anything. Even if you want to go low fat, you can make great dressings using the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. which we have, by the way, available. Uh, the coconut oil you can use in so many different things. I mean, coconut oil is, the, is a miracle thing, all right? right? You can put it on anything, wherever you want, whatever it is. It goes on your skin. It goes anywhere you want, and it's, and it's, it's got that natural antibacterial, so it's wonderful that way. It's the purest form, in my opinion, and I will say this because I've tried several, including the very expensive ones at my health food store, your coconut oil is the best ever. Oh, it has the best aroma. Yes. It's when I when Subtle. I open it, I feel like I'm I'm like in a coconut palm, like <laughs> exactly. a bunch of trees. I'm hanging out. Like, <laughs> Super like I'm smooth yeah. Too. I'm like, you know, the Swiss Family Robinson guy, and I've opened a <laughs> coconut for the first time. That's what it's like, and we have that available. We are down to about 175 of these left. Yeah, these go very and quickly. And we've got three minutes left on the clock. So let's show everybody where this uh, comes from. Okay, this, Jen, tell everybody the story again. All right, so this is a private island in Fiji owned by the founder of Fiji Water. It's called Wakaya Island. We have a virgin volcanic soil, which is perfect, <laughs> perfect recipe for plant life. We put our proprietary turmeric seed in that soil. You can see how beautiful it is. Um, and we absolutely do everything by hand. Yeah. So you know, again, we're so committed to delivering the best and the, pr the premier product mm -hmm. from our soil to your shelf. It's our commitment. Yeah, and Chef, talk to us about how much we use, because I think people wonder when they see it. I know it's pretty powerful stuff. So if you were doing, mm -hmm. like, if you were marinating two chicken breasts, how much of that, of the turmeric, would you need? Quarter teaspoon. That's, That's it. it. Really? Quarter teaspoon. Okay. It's going to last a long time. Yeah. Even this, in this soup, like when you make it, it's yeah. probably two quarts. This is one 
to one and a half teaspoons, depending on your flavor profile of what you'd like to have. But for this batch, it's only one to I one and a half teaspoons. on that bowl of soup. <laughs> that is, that is, right. IV. It is that good. And by the way, those recipes are again are, are in Chef William's book. So if you have questions, you know, they kind of gives you the I, the story behind the turmeric, tells you a little bit about it. There's great pictures in here, but here's the soup, um, dressings. And the Whatever island. You, I love the stories. Oh my gosh, is that, a, is that chimichurri? Yes. yes. Oh, and you add a little turmeric to that. By the way, you know these guys are also famous for their ginger. Um, so you, uh, I'm telling you, it comes from the same place, yeah. the same island, uh, and you can combine things. I have both the ginger and the turmeric. I have both books. They work really good together. They're a dynamic duo. They That's are really absolutely correct. great together. We have 90 seconds left. Paul says there's about 150 of these left wow. with everybody online. If you want to get it and you want to really join the health generation that is trying this stuff because I am all about natural stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I, like I, when you first introduced me to the ginger powder, which, and I had a thing of ginger in a little plastic jar from you. a very sp famous spice company. And when you opened it, it didn't smell like no, anything. No, it was sharp. Right, yeah. it's like nothing. Yours, you open it up, and it's like your nose clears out a little bit. Yep. It has this amazing fragrance. And I think like, that's the difference world, between world. jarred spices. Mm -hmm. First of all, how do you know when they were made? Exactly. And that's the key, right? Yes. Freshness. Yes, and you don't know where they're made. Yeah, or who knows? How. Yeah. And they're And they're bottling that stuff and they're charging you $5.75 for a little jar that big. Mm -hmm. And you don't know where it's coming from. You know the history, you know the story. And the freshness of your spices and where they come from makes a huge, huge difference. So I know this is not a cheap product. Trust me, we all, as hosts, we all look at this and we're like, when we first saw hundred bucks, then we I got know. home and we realized, Jen gave me one of these a year ago, I still have it. I'm down to about an inch and a half at the bottom because I make smoothies with it. I do everything with it. But a little goes a long way. It's, it's, uh, it's you know, like the most expensive spices out there. Mm -hmm. That's what this but is. But you're, but you're getting the best quality. Like, it's like saffron, you know? Saffron, right. a little bit goes a long way. It's the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, really quickly, I want to mention the tea, and I'll let Jennifer talk about the tea. We have this available too, correct? Yes, we have a ginger. We have actually a couple combos. We have a pink Fiji and ginger yeah. combo. We have a combo of our organic turmeric and ginger tea. And yeah. then if you like to mix it up, you can have one of each. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what it looks like. That so is great for Mother's Day yeah. coming up, by the way. Right, exactly. Or even a little belated Valentine's yep. if you want to get your Valentine's, oh, yeah, Valentine's something. Perfect. Hey, listen, I know I Valentine's. You're thinking is, Valentine's. Well, Valentine's <laughs> is like five days away. We're Guys not sure. I never think of it. Well, I know we're getting <laughs> down to the point where we're not sure if it'll ship on time. And I, I don't care. I'd be like, hey, by the way, you got a Valentine's <laughs> present coming. <laughs> it's uh, coming. <laughs> it's coming all the way from Fiji. That's why it's late. <laughs> That'll get you some points. Exactly right. <laughs> Hey, really quickly, by the way, uh, $5 to ship your entire uh, kitchen and food order today. So if you did buy the Today Special, you're good with shipping for the rest of the day. Only 5 bucks to get all this stuff. Remember, what we just showed you was free shipping. So if you just get that, you don't have any money to spend. But uh, continue to shop with us as we do. For instance, if you would like to get, well, if you'd like to get the coconut oil, we have that available. I know we don't have much time on it, so I'm going to let you yes. guys just go. What's so special about your yes. coconut oil? Yes, okay, so oil? again, just like our proprietary seeds, these coconut trees only grow on Wakaya Island. Oh, my gosh. And it's... it's it's so beautiful. Everything's, again, hand cultivated. What's beautiful about this is once the coconuts drop, we actually open them up, dehydrate the interior, and then get this. We cold press them, each coconut by hand. So again, our 75 farmers are in our turmeric fields, our ginger fields, and they come and they cold press this by hand. Wow. That is really what makes this so special, and it's grown in the virgin volcanic soil. And it's one of the few coconut oils, when you when you actually taste a lot on your finger, it tastes like eating a fresh coconut. Exactly. Really, oh, it's incredible. It really, really does. So what have we made today? What have you made out of, out of coconut well, oil? Well, Chef, I'll stir, but you talk about this, because yeah. okay. this is like the newest we, invention. We've taken this, and we've, in, we've inverted it. We've whipped it. We've added a little bit of uh, liquid stevia to it, a little bit of um, cocoa to it, and yeah. we've created a coffee creamer with yeah. so uh, no our more, coconut oil. Uh, no more creamer. No dairy. Just, no dairy. No dairy. You know, it's so funny because a lot of people, like Shannon, my co-host, yeah. is not here today, but she, she, can't, she can't do dairy, so this would be ideal. And then you have your sweetener mixed in, and minimal if no calories, a little bit and, of the and coconut and good oil. good fats, good fats. And you see, the, by, by, yeah, whipping, that's crazy. By, by whipping it up, it, it changes it a little bit, so it melts in there. We've done a spread for your... Um, your bagels or your toast in the morning. Oh so we've yeah, we've no whipped butter. it once again. We've added a little bit of a uh, liquid stevia and a little bit of fresh orange essence to it. And again, wow. this is from our private island in Fiji. That. And again, you know, and you can add your cinnamon or whatever it is you want to add with right. it. Heck, I would put some turmeric on there. I Why not? Add all exactly. that. You can make your own things. I, I find it incredible uh, on 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 food like salads mm -hmm. and things like that. But remember. 
You can use this on your hands. You can oh. use this on your feet. You can use this pretty always, much anywhere. I include, I always um, it, it tell people to buy two. So I have one in my bathroom for yeah. body and one in my kitchen. I love that smell too. And you know what's so nice fresh. about coconut oil when it hits your skin? You know, your skin has its own scent. Mm -hmm. When you mix the two together, it's pretty intoxicating. Well, I find it to be really like a sexy smell. <laughs> well, because it's not perfumey. It's just like you get close yeah. and you're like, you you're don't know whether to sniff to or, or, or take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the truth. I love stuff yeah, like that. See, worry. we're all, we're foodies right, too, yeah. so we kind of, that line between food and love is pretty That's dang the close, kitchen so. men mentality. <laughs> Anyway, what else you got? <laughs> oh, we've created a, we've this created a popcorn so topping. So we've taken this. our coconut oil, yeah. melted it down, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of uh, turmeric, a little bit of curry, a little bit of uh, garlic, pepper. and a little bit of cayenne pepper. And we've made so a good. popcorn topping with it. Get rid of the butter, Isn't that add unique? the coconut oil. Popcorn, if you're a popcorn aficionado and so you try good. that, you'd be hooked on that recipe right there. And I again, love you that. you can take this to the movie yep. theater and mm. make it at home. You're getting those good fats. You're not getting that fattening butter. It's, it's so, you know, I've, I've said that for years is that, you know, I'm working in restaurants, mm -hmm. like chef over here, and I've worked in so many different restaurants, and there's a lot of, there, listen, you want to make something taste good and you want to do it the easy way, you take a giant pat of butter and you throw it in there. We used to do that exactly. fat is, back fat in is the your, day. Fat is your friend. We would make, I might show, a chef I worked with make chicken marsala, he'd put about four tablespoons of butter in the end. I'm like, well, no wonder it's so good. You don't, you know, we've grown that you, that's that, yeah, that's delicious, but you can't live like that. This is about living well. This is so you good You know, splurge right? once exactly. in a while, but. And you can splurge with this stuff, and I think whether you get the turmeric or if you can get both, I'm telling you, the two, all this stuff goes hand in hand. Yes, they all work right? really, really well together. They all come from the same island, so yeah. they work very good hand in hand. If you are thinking about leading a healthier lifestyle, but you don't want to sacrifice their turmeric, their ginger, their cheese, their coconut oil, everything these guys have, and I have it all on my spice shelf, and I love it. And I love the fact that a little goes a long way. So when you see $100 for the, for the turmeric, or you see $35 for this coconut oil, this coconut oil will last the average family of four, probably six months to a year, yeah. depending on what you yeah. use it for. But, and it's shelf stable because it's got that natural antibacterial, it's like bee honey. It is, it's, it's one so of those, beautiful. One of the miracles of our planet right here, and you can get it. Just like you two. Miracles on our planet. <laughs> Love these guys. Chef, thanks for being here. Thank you. They're Thank coming you. up a little bit later on in the day. Uh, coming up tomorrow is more to love. Check it out. Great job. Yep, we're going to share all the details on that with you in just a moment. But I want to give you guys a little tip. If you are looking for the best deals at HSN, go online, hsn.com, and type in the keyword hot items. You are going to find all of our top sellers, our fab finds, the best deals that we have. And look, it spans every category. Fragrance, kitchen, beauty, doesn't matter. You will find our best deals all in one spot. Now that makes shopping a whole lot simpler. One of our top featured items right now is a gorgeous piece of jewelry. I want to see if we can pull this up for you guys so that you can take a look. But the point is, as you're doing your shopping and you want to find what's the very, very best value, go there, do some browsing, see what you can find, do your shopping. We got Mother's Day coming up, maybe it's for a birthday, or you just want to update your kitchen or your wardrobe or your jewelry for spring, you can do it there. So just remember, search hot items. All right, let's check in with our very own Leslie and see what message she has for us. Leslie? Oh, well, tomorrow's a very special day here at HSN because it's part of our More to Love weekend with HSN and QVC. If you want to know what it's all about, make sure you join us today at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time on our Facebook page for a live stream and also find out so much more, like how you can get in on a chance to win $100,000 starting Saturday. So join us today on our Facebook page live at 2.30 p.m. Eastern and see why there's so much to love through HSN and QVC. QVC. Make sure you tune in. Information from Leslie, and we are back. Where are there you are, everybody? All right. So, so we've been talking a lot about health and nutrition uh, in this show, and we were talking about how, how you can utilize turmeric, how you can utilize the healthy oils. We're going to switch, and we're going to tell you now. You can you can eat your favorite foods, and I'm talking about French fries, fried shrimp, fried clams, grilled cheese. You can do all that stuff 
with little or no oil. In fact, if you want to add a little of that coconut oil to a grilled cheese, go ahead, do it for flavor, but you don't necessarily need in the oil. We're so used to thinking about fried food and we think fried food has got to have a lot of oil. Phillips created, first of all, they're the, they're the founders of the air fryer business. They are the best fryers out there in the market. Do not be confused by the cheaper ones maybe you see out there online that are really just cheap ripoffs. I have uh, five or six appliances from Philips in my house that I've had for at least five years. Each one of them, they're fantastic. Uh, and I will tell you, there is no better way to get your food and to get it healthy uh, than the, with the way Stephanie Robbins is going to show us right now. Stephanie! Hello! Welcome to the show. Now, this, oh. is, this has that rapid air fry technology built in that Philips has kind of, they created it. And patented. And this patented is Turbo it. Star yeah. technology and what it is is a chicken wing that is crispy, golden brown. I now make a basket of these at least twice a week for my family. Yeah. They cannot get enough. And you know what? I don't mind doing it because these are not fried in oil. These are air fried, but you'd never know the difference. They are crispy, they are crunchy, they yeah. are golden brown and gorgeous and I don't mind making them because we are not soaking up the right. oil. Smelling up the whole house oh, with boiling oil. Mass, and feeling that bad about right. it. And you know what? Whether I'm doing chicken wings or even fried chicken, instead of frying my chicken breasts, I breaded them, just a little breadcrumb, dredged them but real quick. there's no oil in there. There's nothing in here. This is air. We are going to make these crispy with nothing but air. It sounds too good to be true, but Phillips has gotten this completely figured out. I set my timer for 10 minutes. We're going to walk away, and we're going to come back to fried chicken. So how does this even work? It doesn't sound like it should make sense that I can have something frying while we walk away right. with no oil. I want to tell you what's happening inside the Philips air fryer because it's what's totally different than anything else out there on the market. And this came first. This was the first air fryer here in the United States. We launched it right here on HSN. And Turbo Star heating is what's happening inside. This is a special shape of the pan. See how it's kind of that starfish design? That's what Turbo Star is. That's what's patented by Philips. The the difference is because of TurboStar, the air circulates up, down, and around all edges of the food. That's the difference between TurboStar and any other air fryer out there. Those other air fryers, it just circulates like this. Okay, well, food is three-dimensional. Right. So if the air is just going like this, the food doesn't get crunchy. With TurboStar, every aspect of the food gets touched by the hot air, and it's superheated hot air, and it makes everything crispy. Mm. So I'm not counting on oil to make things crispy, I'm letting the air do the job. Look and when you that. look at the golden brown crunch of the french fries, what? of the chicken, this air is doing a great job. I've got the crispy outer edge. I've got that juicy, succulent chicken on oh the inside. Gosh. Guys, crunch it on the french wow. fries. I mean, think about why we eat fried mm. food. We crave the crunch, mm -hmm. right? Go ahead and mm -hmm. admit it. We all do it. We all want it. But what we don't want is this. And yeah. up until the Phillips air fryer, we've needed this to get crunchy food. So what Philips has done is they have completely eliminated the oil from the equation. Absolutely everything you see is being done with one tablespoon or less of oil. This is it. The french fries, the wings, stuff I'm pulling from the freezer, no oil. If I do some fresh veggies, I might add a tablespoon yeah. for a little flavor, for a little extra crunch. Mm. But this is the decision you're making. This is how we've been frying. This is how we can fry now. Yeah, and over a year's time, if you're doing traditional frying, oh. you might as well just take the top off that and start chugging it down because <laughs> that is basically what happens by the yep. end of the year on a day-to-day -day basis. And also, if you can save a little bit every day, this won't go in your body the way it does with regular frying because you're eliminating the fat. And if you're gonna use the fat, like we said, use the coconut oil fat and use it as a spread on exactly. your grilled cheese or whatever. And I love what Stephanie talks about too because a lot of the food that we're, that we're using no oil on has residual fat in it. It doesn't need more fat. You don't Chicken need to add oil. Chicken covered in skin don't need any extra fat. No. This steak has beautiful marbled healthy fat inside there. So let's use it. Let's yeah. talk about fajitas real quick. When I make them on the stove top, what, six, eight tablespoons of oil sprays all over the place, big pain in the but to cook. When I make them in the air fryer, no oil on the veggies, just a little seasoning. I'm gonna put my skirt steak right on top. This is an amazing quick Friday night mm. dinner. What happens, as Guy mentioned, is the natural fats and juices of the skirt steak, they're gonna release from that superheated air that's circulating all around, kind of like a mini convection oven. It's gonna completely caramelize the outside, release the fat and juice. That's what's gonna crisp up and caramelize my vegetables. Here's the best part. Phillips air fryer has a timer. It also 
also has automatic heat yeah. shut off. So we're gonna walk away. This is my favorite part, is that I set dinner and I forget it. I love this too on top, yep. Stephanie. There's a little guy that cheat, does cheat. the basics, right? That's all you need to know. Yeah. French fries, beef, fish, how long it takes, Simple. what temperature you set it at. I also have temperature control. So when I do things like meat from fresh, I crank it all the way up there. When I do some breads, I'll turn it down a little bit. Yeah. But you can control your crunchiness. That also allows me as a home cook to have all the flexibility that I yeah. normally would. So I'm not like stuck with what the machine wants. Right. We can tweak it. We can make it how we and want this, it. You can do so many different foods inside here. If you're a vegetarian, uh, you, let me tell you, the roasted cauliflower, one of the greatest We're things I've ever there. had in my life. We're I don't want to steal um, Stephanie's thunder because I know she's got lots of great stuff here. But what I will tell you, and I'm going to say this really quickly, we, you know, Gordon Ramsay's been here before, and, and yes. let me tell you, this guy has his choice of any air fryer out there on the planet. He uses this one. I think we even have a couple of stills from him. But why? Yeah, there is. So this is these are foods he prepared inside the inside of it, and the reason he did is because he knows Phillips is the best. Exactly. They are the inventors. He puts a steak in here. Yeah, you know, yeah, Gordon yeah. Ramsay can do whatever he wants oh, with yeah. a steak, and he puts it inside an air fryer because you learn it cooks more quickly than many other methods. It gets the perfect outside. I like this cheese demo that guy's doing right now for me Whoa. because think about what it takes to have perfectly melted cheese it takes perfectly oh even God. circulation if you mm. don't have even heating i'd have a cheese stick with a hard blob at one end flat yeah. on one side you put that in the oven think about what it's happens it's going to turn into a burnt pancake okay you right? know what else happens put it in a cheap air fryer that's also what yeah. happens yep. because if that air isn't circulating around the turbo star you won't have the perfect even heating and you won't have these results there are are air fryers out there that literally don't have a basket. It's just a bottom. It's, it's flat a flat bottom. bottom. Yeah. So think about it. If I put my food on something that has a flat bottom and tell the air to circulate like that, how am I getting crisp on the bottom? No, no way to get underneath no. it. And, and it turns out like this. That's what yeah. it looks like, yeah. right? Because exactly. it just oozes out. Yep. With the Phillips air fryer, I've got turbo star on the bottom. There's you see the, the swirl of that pan? Yep. That is how the air circulates up, down, and around the food. That's just part one. Part two two is that I have this basket so that my food sits in the basket like this. That's wire mesh, by the way, nonstick, so easy to clean. I just wipe it off. But that's how the food gets touched right. on all angles. So we can do something like a grilled cheese and sandwich. And by the way, you always make the best grilled cheese sandwich on the planet. We should have brought you some coconut oil out, but that's fine. You that's can use, all right. Yep. You can use whatever you want. And that would be perfect for the coconut yeah. oil. By the way, you know, teenagers are fickle creatures. I know you know that oh, well. I know. The teenagers come over to my house for air fried grilled cheese. Not sure. just any grilled cheese. They it has it. to be air fried because it's going to get crispy and it, crunchy. It bakes and, and fries kind of at the same time. It and does. the middle is all oh, gooey. Oh, and it's wonderful. It's like the best and grilled cheese And there's no ever. butter. Look at that. Yeah. No butter. So I'm going to cut my fat and calories where I can because I'm not going to cut out cheese. That's just not happening. We're going to put that in there so I can eat that. All right, we're going to get that You know how much going. I love your grilled cheese sandwich. I know you do. Let me remind everybody today, the, for the best in the business, the Phillips Turbo Star, the best air fryer in the market, it is $100 off. It's normally a $250 machine. We're doing it at about $150 today. It's on FlexPay $29.99. Remember, if you order anything today, once you pay $5, uh, shipping is, is free the rest of the day. So if you're loading up your cart, you'll get free shipping on this as well. I can't emphasize enough all right, the flavor of vegetables when they're roasted in. Mm. Now, you have to look at this cauliflower. I think I like the cauliflower as good as anything you make in here. And you know what? And I'm not a vegetarian. I, and I'm not a cauliflower person until I no. started roasting it in here. So one thing, we look. use the wakaya turmeric. So I love that. So we've gotten the wonderful spice on it. But look at the golden brown. Do you see that? That takes me an hour in the oven. And then I'm running my oven at 400, 500 degrees and wasting heat in the house and heating it up in the mm. summer. Or I can do this in 20 minutes in the air fryer. That is so gourmet and so good. And with salmon. Oh, look at that. And I, look at the salmon. Look how flaky and moist it is. Not okay. greasy and not dried out because the look. natural fats of the fish Watch. are right absorbed. I want to absorbed. pull the plate away so you can see there's no oil here. Look. Absolutely not. That plate that is, is natural fish yet, oil there. Look at how mm. juicy and moist that cauliflower is. Look at look at the salmon. Sorry, excuse my fingers, but sorry. It's okay. You're we get stuck it. with it anyway. <laughs> um, but I am telling you. All right, so 2,700 gone. 
I only have about 1,500 left with everybody online. You know, a lot of people still, Stephanie, go and they say, I went online and I saw one for $16, $79. Yep. Why should they not buy that? Because it doesn't evenly circulate right. the heat so the food doesn't cook. I mean, do you want food that's flat on one side? Do you want cheese that is knotty and raw on one side and oozing out the other? The difference with Do you want to replace Phillips, it every three to six months because exactly. the element's going to burn out? Do you want the it's cheap. Do you want the capacity that's only going to hold six chicken wings? You know, we right. dumped out three pounds of chicken wings. I can put a solid two pounds of french fries in here. You know, this is capacity for a family. Now, this is one of my favorite little snacky go-to meals. We put some fish sticks in here, right? And, you know, I don't always feel like a real good mom when fish sticks are on the menu because it seems like I'm kind of cheating out. But what if you put them in a soft shell taco with some avocado, maybe a little slaw, and then suddenly we're calling this fish tacos and you don't have to feel bad about oh. fish tacos at all. It's Friday night. Let's go to if Stephanie's I, house this Yes, weekend. I'm going to be fun this weekend. If you put fish tacos on the menu, and guess how much mom time this took me? 30 seconds to put it in the air fryer. And 10 minutes of I, cooking. I love that you put things into mom time. Yes, yes mom time. Yeah. I do the same I'm thing. I'm glad you're here. As soon as you said you don't have to babysit it, no, right? walk away. Walk Easy away. to clean you're and takes less time. I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. You yeah, see where I'm the priorities in. here are? It's Friday, people. Hey. we got to think about our lives. You got food got food kids. You got, you got a busy family over there. It's, you can't yes. always come up with a homemade, start from scratch, two hour to prepare Pretty a meal. Never. And you know what? Never. It's okay. You okay. don't have to feel guilty about it. So I go, beautiful. you're going to love this. These pre-made at the butcher, yeah. right? They stuff them for you. They'll bread them for you. So then I grab, and this actually looks very fancy. I grab some fingerling potatoes. I grab some shallots. I put the whole thing in the air fryer. No oil, a little bit of seasoning. Remember, wow. there's natural fat and juices in that chicken. I'm going to cut it. That's a lot of food. minute. Two. I walk away. So I could be walking the dog. I could be bathing the baby. All I could right, be having a glass there. of wine. Guy's going to carve for me, yeah, which I love. And dinner is done. Again, mom effort, two, three minutes max. Dinner on the table in 20. Oh, Look at the what? size of the breast. I can Look feed four gym. people. Um, I can feed four people. Well, I, I wanted to say that too. This is a really nice capacity. Yes. I mean, you're putting an entire meal in here. It's not like you're only going to fit, you know, one little thing. And that's the deal with the cheap ones. Right? When you see those inexpensive air fryers, look at the capacity. You are not going to get a full meal in there like we are. And that's important to me because I'm feeding a family. Now, you can do it with less. If I just want to sure. do a couple of fish sticks and have some snacks, oh, you can do that. But I like this complete. You want dinner to try this? mentality. I do try it. Can I try it? You could try it. I'm going to pull I'm some meatballs while you guys you. eat. Garb's good. You guys good with this knife. You could smell it wafting down the hall, just the scent of this beautifully fried food, you would think, right? That's right. But you come in and you see, I mean, these are just great options like for you or your family. Term. I like the fact you that the, the outside gets all crispy. I love that. But yet you really still good. got the juicy on the inside. Okay, here's yummy, another good oh, Here's another good go-to meal idea. Meatballs. Again, mom idea, busy, busy girl idea. Right. These come pre-made. Again, I love my butcher. You can buy them in the case. And you know what? You could buy I'm frozen too, but they turn out great if you buy Mom's them fresh. homemade meatballs. Right, Shh, don't tell anybody. This, this, is what I this is what I claim. <laughs> By the way, we also have accessories. This rack doubles my capacity. I'm going to be oh, pulling meatballs that. for a long time here. So look at the amount of meatballs. 10 minutes fresh meatballs. Now, if I was really going to do it the old-fashioned way, I would be frying this to get that crispy golden oh, brown, look at right? How brown they are. I don't need to fry them. I am air frying them. The circulating hot air makes this crispy, crunchy on the outside. How many meatballs do you have? In? Two dozen. <laughs> I'm it's like a still car in here. You're gonna pull a canoe out of here. I might. You never know what I'm gonna pull. I'm a magician. Now, if you're new to this, though, this gives you like a little cheat sheet. Yep. Cheat sheet wow. on top. And do you see I how heard... you can touch it too? Mm -hmm. You can literally, like, so if you've yeah. got it on the counter and the kids are wandering around, no worries. Would you ever let your kids walk up and touch a fryer? No. Uh, yeah. No, I don't I'm... even let them in the kitchen. There I'm you like, go. Just... You clear the go. kitchen. <laughs> All the instructions are here. Plus, it comes with a great, great full color cookbook. But just the fact that it's user friendly. Oh my God. You know, you can maneuver it. Easy to clean. Everything's nonstick. I do want to show you this. Meatballs, if I had cooked them in the pan, not only would I be cooking them in oil, all of this would be re- absorbing. Yeah. So I actually cooked that wow. off. Wow. I know. So I love the fact that I'm shaving off the calories by not you using gotta oil. You got a cup of oil. Then. Yeah. yeah. I don't want right to eat that and I don't wow. want to submerge it in more oil. So right. again, 10 minutes, cook your pasta, get your meatballs, and we call that yeah. a What kind of colors do we have? We have purple, Oh my gosh. white. Purple, white, red, black for you to choose from as well. So I know the red, every time we do kitchen items, I feel like the red is very popular. Yeah. It's a nice pop of color. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and purple.
purple is HSN exclusive, and in yeah. case you didn't know, Pantone Two color of the year. Love it. Yeah. Purple. So, all right, we're going to pull off some stuff. We're not going to put it there. You stole my plate. You guys you played it up. Cut come over here. No? You know what? Here, let's Are put them over here. You got to cut for me? I'll do whatever you oh, want. I love you putting know. guy to work. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll so we you. made fajitas in 10 minutes. Cut toward the yep. end of that because yep. I pulled them a little early. And what we did was we let the oh, flank perfect. steak. Oh, and look at the peppers. Put the juices and the fats down into the veggies so that I didn't saute them in oil right. like you normally would. Well, and you killed two birds with one stone having everything cooked together. And we walked away, didn't yeah. we? Can you notice that's kind of my that. theme? Anything I don't have to babysit. Yum. If you want this a little more well done, you cook it for a few more minutes. That's you gotta eat it. Be I know, rare. you're a medium rare agree. guy. But <laughs> if you do want it more well done, you just cook it for another couple minutes. With the Phillips air fryer, I have all the control of cooking I would always, always have. And I like that, because I'm not giving yeah. anything up. Uh, your fried chicken came out crispy I'm gonna perfect. pull out the fried chicken. Wow. Let's hand this over. You. So again, we're doing fried chicken. We're doing it without any added oil. Look at the colors here. I just want to hold this up and show you how yeah. crispy and golden that. That brown is beautiful. it is. No oil. Slice it up on a salad. Put it on a sandwich. Yeah. Your family is still getting fried right. chicken. You got to go to the And now the big one. reveal, because I don't think oh, you've gotten to see one of these yet. Yeah, you got it? Yep, we're going to do it right here. here. It. Golden brown. We have that. Let's clean yeah. a knife. Oh, what a team. We're going to slice right, right into this. I like guys can, my sushi. You can chef. hear the crunch. I mean, I'm oh yeah. cutting through that. Yeah, there right. you go. And right, that's the way go. that to is gorgeous. Here. Golden you, brown. And I will tell you. Every single time. Look oh. at that. I love it. All right, that is Turbo Star. Mm. Even heating. Enjoy it with Phillips. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad you came to eat. You'll be back at 11, right? Yes, I will. Okay. We should get we'll just keep Stephanie eating to just keep talking while we <laughs> so eat. So you guys just keep eating. Yeah. <laughs> now they have to chew. That's delicious. Thanks so much for joining us, Michelle. Thank you for being here as always. Don't miss Monday, G by Julian yeah. Rancic. Here comes Leslie at home. Oh my God. Sorry, I had to pull it early. It is. Welcome into HSN, everyone. My name is Leslie. This is 